For the first time, a tiny world-leading heart pump has been successfully used in an operation at Sunshine Hospital. It's a high-risk procedure, but one that's proved a lifesaver. After losing most of his heart function, Troy Phoebe has been given a second chance. My heart was 99.9% .9 blocked. Surgeons wouldn't operate. Uh, they thought that the heart wasn't healthy enough to operate on at the time. I would have died. Yeah. Now, thanks to an Australian first, a team of doctors and staff at Western Health successfully used an artificial heart pump. We can put in at the time of the heart attack that basically saves their lives. It enables the patients who otherwise would have had very poor heart function to keep a good blood pressure. The pump is inserted into an artery, then passed into the heart. It contains a small motor that spins at 50,000 revolutions a minute. It takes over from the heart to supply blood to the brain and kidneys, allowing cardiologists to treat blockages. Each year, around 57,000 Australians suffer a heart attack. That's one heart attack every 10 minutes. The patients who have heart attacks here are getting younger rather than older. And Melbourne's West has one of the highest rates of cardiovascular disease in Australia. Western Health treats more than 300 severe heart attacks every year. Now this centre is the first in Australia to implement a cardiac shock program using this technology, giving patients new hope. As for Troy... His recovery has been uh, excellent. Any sort of chest pains or anything like that, you um, go to your local GP or... Yeah, get checked up. Melissa Christidis, 7 News.